Welcome guys back to another video in the channel. Today we'll be looking at the news that Mark Rocker could be coming to Arsenal. So let's get straight into it. The news is that Mark Rocker is a CDM and he is linked with a move to Arsenal. Arsenal obviously are looking for a CDM in the upcoming transfer window. Obviously linked with the likes of Thomas Partey. So Mark Rocker could be an alternative and a much younger alternative as well. He is 23 years old and plays for Espanyol uh, in the Spanish league. So let's get straight into the report. This report is by The Express and they say Arsenal are now favourites to sign discounted Spain star despite a uh, new Everton transfer interest. So Arsenal are still vying for Espanyol star Mark Rocker. Arsenal are still favourites to sign Espanyol star Mark Rocker, reports claim. Manager Mikel Arteta is a known admirer of the defensive midfielder and wants to bring him to the Emirates Stadium in the upcoming transfer window. The ball-winning midfielder who joined the club as a 12-year-old has been widely tipped to leave La Liga's rock bottom club this summer. Rocker 23 is only under contract until June 2022 and Espanyol will be likely to force to sell their sought after talent with relegation likely and their financial implications of COVID-19. And Arsenal according to Spanish publication La Razón is his most likely destination. It is reported that Rocker has a £35 million release clause in his contract but Espanyol could expect expect accept a lower price given the current circumstances again this lower price i don't know how low it's going to go it's unknown but we'll have to see about that the player has also changed his representation recently leaving gm10 sport to join promo sport an agent an agency who also represent premier league duo adam atriore and eric bailly la Rosa claim arteta is very interested in the former spain under 21 international but he faces competition from everton and ac milan it's not the strongest competition because I've asked our bigger clubs than them, but obviously it'll be hard competition for someone like Mark Rocker trying to make it in the bigger league. It is thought that the Serie A side posed the greatest threat to the Gunners' chances of luring Rocker to the Premier League with Milan News claiming manager Stefano Pioli wants him to play alongside Ismail Benica. Obviously, Ismail Benica used to be an Arsenal player. Meanwhile, Ray Parler thinks Arteta should be looking elsewhere in the summer transfer window, probably suggesting, you know, Thomas Partey could be needed. Rather than the arrival of another defensive midfielder to win the likes of Granit Xhaka, Lucas Serra and Matteo Guendouzi, Parler thinks a new goal-scoring midfielder is required. The goals are not really spread around the team, are, are they, with Arsenal? Parler's whole talk sport. You get Alexandre Lacazette shipping a few. Ozil probably doesn't score enough for the position he plays. The midfield are very much more defensive-minded. Xhaka's not going to score your goals. Torreira's not going to score your goals. They lost Aaron Ramsey, who was the goal-scorer from midfield. So look for an attacking midfielder who's probably going to try to score you 10 goals a season, but, but you're talking big money then to spend. So that is the report that suggests that Mark Rocker could be on his way to Arsenal. But obviously, Arsenal could be looking for more an attacking player. And I think in terms of CDM, I think Arsenal will be preferring Thomas Partey. But I think Mark Rocker looks like an alternative if Thomas Partey does not happen. Now, looking at the price, Mark Rocker realistically could be, I think he'll be around 25 to £30 million. Pounds. That seems quite reasonable for Mark Rocker because if Espanyol are going down, if they're on the bottom... If relegation seems likely, then they'll need the money because of this uh, virus situation. Because obviously, they'll be quite heavy hit with this relegation. So, I think they will sell Mark Rocker, but it depends who it goes to. Obviously, if Arsenal don't sign him, I think he will be AC Milan or Everton. But obviously, I don't want him to come to the Premier League either. Because he is quite a good player. So, I think AC Milan would be the best move for him. Which does make the most sense for me. So, let's get into some of his stats now. So, Mark Rocker, in the La Liga, he's played 24 out of 27 games, saying that he is quite a crucial part of Espanyol. He's got two goals, one assist, with 64 touches per match and 80% pass accuracy. In defence, he's got 57 tackles, 61% tackles won, 263 duels and 41% er of uh, aerial duels won. And uh, clearance is 37, block shots are 8, interceptions are 24. In distribution, obviously, he's got 1 assist, 1,167 passes, 80% pass accuracy, 51 passes per 90, 64 touches per match, 17 crosses and 18% cross accuracy. So he is quite an involved player in the game and he is quite... Quite a good passer, to be honest, and I think he would be someone who will look to dictate that midfield, control the midfield, just like Thomas Partey. So he does look like a similar player to Thomas Partey. Looking at going forward, he doesn't really go forward. Uh, two goals in La Liga, 1,037 minutes per goal, 37% shot accuracy, and two goals from his left foot. So he is quite a left footed player, and he's had 10 successful dribbles, so that's pretty good. Seven yellow cards, 55 fouls conceded, and... Uh, 16 fouls one looking at uh europa league uh you know espanol didn't do very well he's got no goals in that one and he only played three out of the eight games suggesting they did focus on the 
<clears throat> on the other one is uh, on the La Liga. Copa del Rey, same thing. One out of three games he's played and he's not got any goals or assists. And he's only got 82 touches for match 74% pass accuracy. So that is Mark Rocker for you guys. Um, for me, my personal opinion on this, I think he'll be an alternative to Thomas Partey, as I said earlier. I think he's someone we shouldn't be pursuing straight away. I think if we can't get Thomas Partey, then Mark Rocker is someone we should go after. I think that's why this report's coming out. I think because he's on a reduced pli- price in Arsenal, looking for similar players in the in the same league as Mark Rocker, I think he'll be suited that you know he could come to Arsenal. But I think, again, just an alternative to Thomas Partey. Thomas Partey should be our number one priority in that CDM role because he is a much better established and well-known player. And I think even though Thomas Partey is three years older, I think he'll have more to give us in the coming years. I know Mark Rocker has to grow a bit more, but I think I'd rather prefer Partey. I think Rocker as a player, he looks like a really good player. And obviously, since he's quite young, he has loads more potential to go on and do very good things. But that is my opinion on Mark Rocker, and he could be coming to Arsenal. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe and share for more content. Give some feedback as well. Why not? In the comment section below, subscribe as well. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.